whether you are shooting with a bow, a crossbow or whatever. How fast the arrow or projectile is going is a main indicator of how powerful the device is you are shooting with. Especially as there are a variety of arrows and projectiles of different weights and properties that each have a different speed. Normally you would measure the speed by using a ballistic chronograph or short crony. These devices basically are made of two light barriers and some electronics but do cost some money and for occasional shooters it might not be worth buying these. Of course one could also help itself with a high speed camera but those cost even more money usually so I want to show you a cheap third possibility which basically only uses some paper, just any camera and an audio program. An acoustic ballistic chronograph. Now for this you will need, just like in the real crony, two gates where later the arrow passes through. I made them out of some strips of wood, so they later have the right size for a common A4 paper. On each of them I then fix two sheets of A4 paper just by using some sticky tape. Maybe even one sheet actually will be enough, but I take two because I notice that the result will be more audible compared to just one sheet. The setup is pretty simple, you will need a target or a stopper, the two gates with the sheets of paper, plus the camera placed in the middle of them, and of course the thing you want to shoot with. Also you should measure the exact distance between the two gates, in my case 80 cm. Now it's just a matter of lining them up, shooting through them and recording it on the camera. In the next step you have to open the video file in a video cutting software where you can see the audio curves. Or of course use a dedicated audio program like the excellent free program Audacity, link in the description. Once you have the amplitudes in front of you the picture you see should look something like this. There should be three clear peaks. First the passing of the arrow through the first gate, second the passing through the second gate and third when the arrow hits the target. When there is no clear peaks, 4.1 or 2 try using some thicker paper or try to fix it with more tension. Then the sound should be more distinguished. Maybe there will also be another peak in front of the first gate which is then likely produced by the gun or crossbow or whatever you are shooting with. Now you measure the time between gate 1 and 2 and write down this value. In my case it's 0 0.011 seconds or 11 milliseconds. Now you divide this with the distance between the gates you measured before. The result is the time the arrow took for this one meter. Now you take the reciprocal value of this and the result is the speed. In my case 72.72 meters per second or rounded 73 meters per second. With this you could also calculate the kinetic energy using the mass of the projectile, in my case 15.2 grams. The result is 40.5 joules. For the fun I also tried this whole method on my homemade crossbow from an earlier video. Here the speed turns out to be 30 meters per second and with the same bolt of 15.2 grams the resulting kinetic energy is around 7 joules. I think it's time for the next iteration of this thing, eh? Thanks for watching.